Cordura, a name that you have surely seen around. Perhaps some backpacks, luggages, technical trousers and more. I for one have a briefcase made of Cordura, as you can see here, but what is Cordura? I mean, if we take a look at the European regulation of textile fibers, there is no Cordura. It's not an officially recognized fiber. So why this name pops out every now and then? I mean, are we crazy or Cordura, does Cordura really exist? Don't worry, let's see that together. First of all, Cordura is the name of the fiber, patented and invented by DuPont in 1929. Back in the days, Cordura was a type of viscose, but as soon as nylon was invented, Cordura instantly became a type of nylon. Yes, indeed, a type of nylon, also known as Polymed 6 or Polymed 6.6. .6. Cordura patent is currently owned by Invista, an American company that also produces resins and elastan fibers such as Lycra. Cordura is not a fabric, guys, it's a type of fiber which is spun and then woven to create fantastic fibers for technical purposes. There are two types of Cordura, 500D and 1000D. 500D is lighter but has good resistance, whereas 1000D has excellent resistance to tears but it's heavier. D stands for Denaya, a unit of measurement very much used for synthetic fibers. If you don't know anything about ER counts, you will find my video below explaining what denier is. Anyway, both are very valid and have fantastic features such as abrasion resistance, tear resistance, wear resistance. We all know that, especially in sports and trekking, garments have to guarantee comfort, must be strong, elastic and breathable. Cordura can be an excellent solution for your needs. That's why it has been used by Eastpac and Jansport for years. Cordura is indeed a tough fiber, one of the strongest nylon in the market. The company has several lines of Cordura that can range from ballistic fabrics to classic fabrics used for backpacks, from sustainable Cordura fabrics made of recycled nylon and polyester to comfort Cordura fabrics blended with cotton. Since it's polyamide, the fabric is intrinsically water repellent, but it can be also finished anyway with flame retardant or water repellent chemicals in order to improve its fantastic properties. The Cordura label pops out every now and then, so try yourself at home and see if you have some backpacks around with Cordura fiber. That's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the content of this video. You will find my details below along with my email, Reddit and so on. If you need any textile help, any textile consultancy, I am at disposal naturally, so as usual, stay safe, take care, I'll see you guys in the next video.